Good evening, everyone. What a late night rally. Thank you very much. I thought we were going to be finishing early. No, we're taking it right to the end of the show because we filled up 2018 Bowman's Best Baseball. Eight box, pick your team, number 25 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Big thanks to all of these amazing people right here for digging deep. Appreciate it. Karen Steele closing things out. Thanks, Karen, our closer for the night. And there's everyone right here. Did Josh Bell hit another one? All right. Good luck, everybody. All right, so... I'll show you all the boxes in just a second. There are, are, are there are four boxes right there, four boxes in the back right there. That makes eight. Good luck, everybody. Also, you know what? I'm going to give away 25 bucks of break credit at the end of this break. I'll randomize all those names. Name on top, winner take all, $25. That's just as a, a little thank you for that late night rally. Maybe you can put it towards Big Hit Express tomorrow. That's what I would do. You can use it for whatever you want. You can use it for whatever you want. I'd use it for Big Hit Express. Series 2. Dropping on Friday. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. One break already sold out. But, I guess if you can want to use it for something else. Should move that exquisite football on the side. Alright. Or NT, NT Baseball. Yep, I might I might miss a Tesla payment. Rex, this is coming out of my pocket. It's just docked from my paycheck. All right, so this break should bring us right to the top of the hour, maybe a tiny bit afterwards. So thanks, everybody. This is our last break of the night. Anything else that fills, even personal boxes, we're going to push till tomorrow. So good luck and thank you everybody. I, I love these late night rallies. Just when this is why like I always stay try I always try to stay as long as possible even when it seems like nothing's happening, right? Because all it takes is like a little spark and then all of a sudden everyone's like, "Yeah, yeah, okay, fine, fine. Me too. Me too. Me too. Me too." And everyone everyone joins the breaks and they want to get in. So hopefully this case cooperates with some nice stuff. There's Grayson Rodriguez to 250. Um, I'm actually just going to set these aside just in the interest of time. But our shipping team will sleeve and top load those before they get sorted. Alec Thomas is our first autograph going to Alfred and the Snakes. Obviously the hits I'll top load right away. Sleeve and top load. All right, not numbered, but that's what he's all about. And there is Grayson Rodriguez. So we saw his purple parallel, and now we have his autograph. That goes to John Samuelson. There you go. That's what he's all about. I don't know the la I don't know the last time the Orioles have developed pitching. When was the last time the Orioles have developed a decent starter? They had Jake Arrieta, but they gave him up before. There's Alec Thomas again to 99. They gave him up before he turned into Jake Arrieta with the Cubs. Nice, Keston Hiuta. Great, excellent prospect for the Brew Crew. DMAC with the Brewers. So good start so far.
And a redemption. There's Cody Bellinger. He's been raking. So behind Altuve, congrats. Someone is due to receive. Best of 2018 autograph. Oh, there's a parallel. Refractor parallel of B. Not Anthony Siegel. I thought it was going to be A, Eric Bailey. No, what about B? R. Oh, Bryce Turang for the Brewers. Yeah, he's the other redemption guy. All right, so two Brewers for DMAC. Nice. That's true. Glaber Torres does love the Orioles pitching. Now, who was the... Uh, why am I blanking on his name? Who's that Oriole that went to the Yankees? Possible Hall of Famer now? Why am I blanking on his name? I think that was the last... That was the last Orioles pitcher that uh, that I think the Orioles have developed, like a decent starter. <laughs> like, I'm not even talking about, like, yeah, Musina. Why did I blank on his name? Yeah, Mike Musina, I think, was the last pitcher, <laughs> like kind of front of the rotation pitcher that the Orioles have developed. Like actually drafted and got th gone through their farm system and all that. Unless someone can think of another one. I can. And besides Arietta. Um, yes, Michael, you do you uh, you have ordered the pirates. Pirates are for you. Well, I feel like they, yeah, well, yeah, John Stanton was like in the early 80s, they had great pitching. I feel like they they have a kind of a, sort of like the Dodgers, they do have like a pitching, good pitching tradition, right? Back in the day. But I don't know. I don't know what happened there. This guy's heating up, Vlad Guerrero Jr. We'll actually save one of those for the Blue Jays, so they'll, that'll ship out too. I think they ship out anyway. But and Alec Baum, nice. That's a great one for Boombox. Bomb Box. It's a big uh, corner infield prospect for the Phillies. Nice, and we've got Travis Swaggerty. This is the guy you're looking for, Arson. 7 out of 10. You want to see his autographs. One of their top prospects from the recent year. There he is. 10th overall pick last year. There's Justin Upton, 150. There's uh, Rookie Otani. We'll save some of those, too. And there's Helio Ramos. That's a great one for the Giants. Kyle Hoover. Going a little oppo. Oppo Joe Mojo. I think a lot of... A lot of a lot of teams asking about Helio Ramos in trades, and the Giants have consistently said no. Carlos Correa to 250. Bryce Harper, Atomic, Otani, Atomic, nice. And there's Trevor Larnock for the Twins. Tw Sanford with the tw Twins playing some great baseball, ladies and gentlemen. Don't look now, but. You've got a great record. And Ryan Weathers for the Padres. Boombox. Another great prospect. Auto going your way. Ryan Carl Weathers.
All right, next box. We got some. Let me give you a score update on a Thursday travel day, so not a lot of games. Lucas Giolito's first shutout, folks. So like, and he shut out a good team. The Astros, four to nothing. Four to nothing. Auto, yes, of course. I wouldn't miss it. Here, you can watch the you can watch the videos, Ryan, from uh, from our previous series one. Check that out and see what you think. But Lucas Giolito, number one, former number one overall prospect, very very highly touted prospect, but some injuries, some inconsistency, maybe pressure, didn't quite get there. But he shot out the Astros four to nothing. Complete game shutout, I think. Rays beat the Indians seven to two. Minnesota destroyed the Angels sixteen to seven, and that they only got to seven because they kind of got a grand slam at the in the ninth inning or something like that, bottom of the ninth, garbage time points. Um, Braves beat the Giants five four in extras in the thirteenth inning. Phillies beat the Cubs nine to seven. Miami beat the Tigers five to two. Tigers slumping big time. Red Sox beat the Blue Jays eight to two. Pittsburgh Pirates score two touchdowns versus Colorado's two field goals, fourteen to six. Yankees edge out the Orioles six to five, and the Mets beat the Nats six to four. Travel day, a lot of early games and see you tomorrow. All right, good luck, everybody. Next box, Travis Swaggerty for the Pirates out of 150. And behind Otani is another Ryan Weathers. So nice one for the Friars. Future two-way player, Brendan McKay. I hope they keep him... Do Keep him playing, pitching and being in the field. There's Brandon Marsh for the Angels. Jeremy Merle with the Angels. He has twins put eight home runs on the Angels. Oof. There's Taylor Trammell to uh, 250. And there's Tristan Houses, Tristan Casas for Stephen Kendrick and the Red Sox. Nice. Atomic looking for this guy's autograph. And nice, number one overall pick, Casey Mize. Who has the Tigers? Eric Bailey. There you go, Eric. Nice. This is a great break so far. A lot of big names. And since he he's a college guy, too. He went to Auburn. So we'll probably see him sooner rather than later. Right? Obviously, the high school guys take... You know, maybe four, four, three, four years, maybe a little bit longer to, to get seasoned and come up the ranks. But the college guys, I mean, he's already in AAA, maybe? So anyway, obviously, the college kids, definitely a shorter time frame. They're, they're up in the big leagues fighting for a spot within two, three years. Oh, good. Eric's saying he'll be at AAA Toledo in a few weeks, I think. Double A right now. I think his first start in Double A was a no-hitter, if I remember. His first start after he got promoted, Double A. Yeah, maybe Triple A by the end of the season. So he was drafted in 2018. So single A, like rookie ball, A ball, 2018. 
a little bit of single A. This year, double A already, triple A, maybe in a few weeks or so. Maybe another like half a season of triple A next year, perhaps. Cup of coffee in 2020. And then starting rotation 2021. That would, unless he gets injured, that's the that's the progression. Maybe even earlier if he just has nothing to prove. I would maybe give him a, I don't know, in September, right? I would call him up maybe a spot start or two just to give him a taste of the majors, keep him hungry. It seems like he's it seems like he's the real deal. All right, next box. After this, we'll be be halfway through the break. Bellinger raking. Walker Bueller pitching pretty well these days too. And there's Daniel Lynch. Daniel Lynch. Going to the Royals. Eric Bailey with the Royals. Back to back. He's heating up. That's 44 out of 50. That is for Rex with the Mets. And we got Cole Wind for the Rangers. Ed Reynolds with the Rangers. Oh. You hear that? Blue Jays are calling up Kevin Biggio. Dust off your Kevin Biggio card. That's Craig's kid. I think a lot of those autographs that we started to see like a year or two ago when you were breaking with us, ladies and gentlemen, it's cool to start seeing them We'll start things, seeing them come up. There's Jordan Hicks for the Cardinals. It's Matt Stone with the Redbirds. There you go, Matt. Giancarlo Stan. They don't need him. The Yankees are in first place right now. And Nico Herner for the Cubs. That'll be for Boombox and the Cubbies. I think almost all of Boombox's team has at least one. Maybe he needs a Dodger, I think. All right, so there's your four autographs there. Now we are officially halfway through the break. Good luck. Right, if your dad played in the majors, there's a good chance the Blue Jays may draft you. Or the Padres, don't they? Pad pa Padres also have have Cal Quan. They have Fernando Tatis Jr., obviously. And they have Cal Quantrill, Paul Quantrill's kid. I think they have a couple others, too, don't they? Where's Phil Nevin's kid? Phil Nevin's kid was on the Padres. Wait, is we is Weathers the son of a baseball player or related to David Weathers? See, there you go. So, yeah. So, if your dad played in the major leagues, there's a chance that the Padres or the Blue Jays, the Padres and Blue Jays will uh, will draft you. Johnny's saying the Rockies have Nolan's cousin and brother in the farm teams. That's pretty cool.
JT Real Muto just hit a, or not just, but I just saw the highlight. Hit a 456 foot home run. Jesus. Off of John Lester. Did that go out of Wrigley? Wow, people, it went out of Wrigley. People are looking behind on the very last row of the. Wow. And nice Royce Lewis. Oh, Royce Lewis coming to focus. There he is. That is for Sanford and the Twins. It's a former number one overall pick. I think he was number one overall. Oh, yeah. There you go. You might see him in action soon. There's Nolan Arenado. There's Tatis Jr. And there's Nolan Gorman. That's a big. Uh, that's a big one too for the Phillies or Cardinals. Sorry, different red team. Joseph Elran Word with that. There you go, Joe. Nice. Remember, there was a lot of buzz about him when we first started opening this product. Right, so yeah, the Blue Jays have, yeah, Bo Bichette, Vlad Jr., um, I think Kevin Biggio, who's just being called up. They may have a, they have a Clemens too, Eric, right? They have a Casey Clemens, or one of the Clemens kids is in the Blue Jays organization too. Yeah, Gorman hitting well in the minors. Arson saying that's a couple hundred bucks right there. Another redemption. And nice. Power producers autograph. The insert autos have stickers. 74 out of 99. Tristan Houses. Tristan Casas. Um, oh, sorry. Yes, Matt Stone. You do have the Cardinals. That's yours. Doesn't matter what I say. They go, the shipping team goes by that list. Sorry, Joe. You, Joe has the Mariners. Your name's right below it. Matt Stone with the couple hundred dollar Nolan Gorman. There you go. This is Stephen K with the Red Sox. You were due to receive. Best of 2018 autograph. Bryce Turang again. Another one for the... Brewers. Eric's saying that Gorm doesn't go for that. <laughs> All right. 40-50? I think, I want to say when this product first came out, Nolan Gorman's were going for a few, couple hundred dollars. Maybe that's not happening anymore. Yeah, his Bowman, like, draft autograph may go for that. All right, Brewers with another one. DMAC. There you go, Darren. Nice. Yeah, okay, there you go. Eric Bales, you're thinking of Bowman Draft Autos. Best is nice, but yeah, it, it won't. It's This is nice, but it's not going to hit draft prices. Now, point is, he's good. Point is, he's good. That's an autograph you want to have. Wait, what position does he does Nolan Gorman play? Space for him? Third base? Nice. People people say that those uh people say that those corner like those third basemen, third basemen with power, a lot of those guys tend to tend to project pretty like they're slightly easier to project as successful, you know. Ball players, you know what I mean? Outfielders, obviously, there's like a ton, you know, a ton of outfield. Harder to project that. Ladies and gentlemen, are, are the Twins for real? There are 33 and 16. They may have the best record in baseball. I think they have the best record. Their winning percentage is 673. Yeah, better than the Dodgers, better than the Astros. 
Twins have the best record in baseball, 33-16, and 16, eight games ahead of the Cleveland Indians. Are the Twins for real? What do you think? For those of you watching, what do you think? Are they for real? Cody doesn't like it. Cody's like, boo. And there are no hidden fees, so it's way easier to stay on top of our money. And the more the things we love, the more we love. Yeah, and a game better than the Yankees, too. Are they for real? Or is it, are they are they, are they a paper tiger? Nice, Jared Kalanick. There you go. Mets edition going to Rex. He's on the Mariners now. That was the Cano trade. But, uh... Big prospect right here from Milwaukee, from the Milwaukee area. So Rory, Johnny O, all those Milwaukee guys, Brian O are all excited. Michael G are all excited about him making it. Dustin Fowler, 250. And another Tristan Casas for Stephen K. Look at that, man. You're starting your Tristan Casas PC. Best performers on card autograph. Nice one for the Red Sox. 58 out of 150. I don't know where the Yankees are, Stephen K, but you're racking up the Tristans. If we get it, pull enough of that guy, that might make up for the Yankees too. We got JP Crawford to 99. Nick Madrigal for the White Sox. It is still early, Eric Bailey, but... You know. Sick of pitchers trying to intimidate the pitchers. You think it's going to distract me? Wow. That's freaking. And there's Jose Altuve. Nice. 97 out of 99 for the Strohs. Philip Kostler. Yeah, I think there's three Tristan Casas otter, and there are three different ones, too. Which is kind of cool. So you're starting, you've got, you got your PC started. And we've got Cole Wynn. That'll be for another one for Ed Reynolds and the Rangers. How are the Twins doing this, by the way? <laughs> I mean, I guess playing playing the Angels kind of help. What's their down? Let's look at their death chart. All right, I like I got Eddie Rosario on my fantasy team. He's been raking, slumped for a couple weeks, really bad. But then I think he's kind of back now. I think Marlon Marwin Gonzalez was a great pickup. I think signing Scope Jonathan Scope was a great one. Miguel Sano is back. He'll provide some pop. Maybe if he gets that average up, he's also on my fantasy. That'd be pretty good. I guess Astudio, their catcher, playing well. Kepler, Buxton, that's a good, decent outfield too. Got some good defense in the outfield as well. They got a, they got a good back end of the rotation, right? Taylor Rogers, Trevor May. Taylor Rogers. Yeah, maybe they've been playing a weak schedule. Oh, I know. I mean, I think that's the dirty secret, right? Maybe you maybe getting getting Maurer out of that lineup. I know he's beloved, but maybe a weak schedule. They swept the in May. They picked up two wins against the Astros in May. Went one for three against the Yankees. Swept the Blue Jays. They split the series with the Tigers. I guess they played the Angels last week. And two wins out of three. Then played the Mariners. Swept the, No, three out of four from the Mariners and then the Angels again. So maybe sort of weaker competition. But they're going to run to weather 1998's White Sox. 
So maybe they haven't been challenged yet. We'll see. Um, but weather, you can visit jazbeescasebreaks.com to join our group breaks. The deal is that you're probably joining one of the best case breaking operations this side of the Mississippi. That's the deal. All right. So I don't know. I guess we'll see soon enough if the Twins are going to be the real deal Holyfield. The White Sox, yeah, they've got a good young crop of players coming up the ranks. There's Jonathan India. This is the guy that you want, Reds. Eric Bailey. Nice. Another great corner infielder. Who is the best on your side of the Mississippi, Cody? Um, probably still us. <laughs> I don't know. There Maybe there might be. It could be better operations. I don't know. Tough to say. And we've got 44 out of 50, rookie auto Sandy Alcantara. Wasn't he involved in a national anthem standoff yesterday? That goes to Kyle Hoover. Michael Kopech. See, guys got like guys like Kopech coming off with Tommy John, I think. I mean, they could be really interesting in a year or two. Brady Singer. Imagine like a seasoned Eloy Jimenez. Giolito looked incredible today. If they can get that kind of Giolito. Eric Bailey with the Royals gets the Brady Singer. Nice, Eric having a nice break. And we've got Kybert Ruiz for the Dodgers. I think all of Boombox's teams got at least one thing. Some nice players, too, I want to say. All right, there you go. That's, that's future Dodgers catching prospect. Austin Barnes better watch out. This guy's coming up right behind him. Nice Alex Verdugo as well. Making the most of his opportunity while A.J. Pollock is, is out, his bird bones. All right, next one. Well, we still have four autos to go, Atomic. It ain't over till it's over. I would, just, I would just go into every break just assuming that you're not going to get anything. Set the bar low, folks. Set the bar low. I know. i got to get Stephen K. A Yankee, too. Well, not everyone. I think a majority of the break has not hit Atomic. So I know it seems like everyone is hitting, but trust me, there's a lot of hitless people in this, too. Yeah, see, Michael doesn't have a hit either. Arson, Arson's just like, oh, I better get something. You better make up for that in NT. Aren't we good for like an Anthony, at least an Anthony Ziegler redemption, right? That's the guy that may push Gary Sanchez to first. I think he's a catcher. This is Johnny's first break, I think. So, new guy doesn't even have anything. See, so making a lot of people sad. There's Glaber Day. All right, Mariners. I think this is the first Mariner. Josh Stowers. That's for Joseph L. Ranwert with the M's. I don't think that Kalanick was numbered. I think it was just a regular, regular guy. All right, auto one of four. Wow, 
Wow. Jordan Alvarez, 14 out of 50, early indications autograph. Nice, on the card too, Astros. Philip Kostler with the Strohs. Now, isn't he up now? Isn't he playing? And there's Trevor Larnock for the Twins. The amazing Twins. Goes to Sanford. And the last autograph of this Bowman's best break. Thanks for the big late night rally, ladies and gentlemen. Is going to be a twin, Bruce Dar Greatall for Sanford and the Twins. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for the fill. Great late night rally. And overall, and whether you hit or not, overall, it was a pretty solid case, I think. So a lot of good hits there. As promised, as a thank you for the fill, let's give away a little bit of break credit here. It's not a lot, but a little token of our appreciation. $25, winner take all, between Alfred down to Rick and everyone in between. Let's randomize that list. Three and a one, four times. Name on top gets it. One, two, three, and a one. Fourth and final time, name on top. Congrats to Kyle Hoover. There you go, Kyle. $25 of break credit going your way. I'm going to email it right after I hit stop record on this video. And you'll get it. Uh, check your spam folder if you don't see it in your email. And uh, good luck with whatever you use it in. jaspyscasebreaks.com. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.